Hey everyone, today I have some spring garden inspired Dollar Tree spring farmhouse DIYs. And by the way, if you're new here, I'm Tanya. Welcome to my channel. And if you're returning, I am so happy you stopped by again. I hope you all like, share, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with our first one. Now for this DIY, I'm gonna be taking some of these spring signs that I picked up at Dollar Tree. They only had a rope hanger on there, so I decided just to take some beads off of another one and just put those on here. And I used the string that was already on there and just popped that out, slid those beads on there. And then I'm just gonna glue it down in the back to secure it really well. But everyone, these are beautiful signs for spring. So I hope you can find them at your Dollar Tree. Now I'm taking two of these and putting them together because I love the way this greenery looks. I think it just looks like a little garden full of herbs or something maybe growing. And I wanted to bring this all together by adding some nature kind of inspired little bird houses. And I thought this is perfect for the garden spring type of decor. Now I'm gonna be using the color hazelnut to paint these and it's a chalk paint. And I purchased that one at Walmart. And I just did a heavy coat on here for the first coat. And then I'm gonna be taking just some acrylic paint in the color forage and just putting that on here, another heavy coat, adding a little bit of that off-white plaster color that I had. And that's also another chalk paint. And what I was doing is just getting an undertone on my little pots. And I really like that plaster color, so I decided to add it to the little roofs of the birdhouse. Now I'm going to be taking some of the peach color and then just some brown. And everyone, this technique works so great to make anything kind of look like it's the terracotta pots. Just add a little bit of warmth underneath with either a green, you could put a red or any color. But I like to use the green on here because I like the way it looks. And you can see once I dab that peach and that little brown color on there, and I kind of highlight in different areas like around the rim. But once these dry, they look so pretty and they look like little terracotta pots. Now I'm gonna take my sign, it should be dry now, and I did glue that together with hot glue and E6000. And I wanted to kind of build up the birdhouses and make them look like they were elevated and raised up a little bit. So I'm just gonna take some of the tumbling tower blocks and I just wanted to get this elevated up a little bit to look like it was raised up. And that really made this look pretty. I love how that kind of pulled everything closer to you. And I'm just gonna space each one of these little birdhouses out. And I love that it says, be humble, be gentle, and be kind. I think that's a nice little nature kind of saying too. So it's always, uh, enjoyable to just be out in nature and it does make me feel humble and and kind and gentle you just want to be gentle to all the little creatures in nature but everyone look how beautiful this is turning out now i'm going to take those little handmade terracotta pots and we're just going to pop those right in between the birdhouses and then i'm just going to take some little greenery that i had picked up at Dollar Tree. They really have some beautiful greenery, everyone. Make sure that you kind of dig through the flowers and see if you can find some of this greenery. And then I took some moss that I had in my craft stash and popped in there. And I like these, they look like ferns, so I decided to pop these in there. And this turned out so pretty, just the way it was. But then I remembered that I had the other hearts. So I decided to take those and make it look like there was two hearts on here instead of just the one heart. And I really like that, how that kind of just added that little extra something. And then I wasn't real crazy about the shiny texture. So I took some of that old and gray patina from the DIY paint and dabbed that on there, added a little bit to the roofs of the birdhouses. And everyone, I absolutely love how this turned out and I hope you do also. So let me know in the comments if you love this creation as much as I do. This is one of my favorites and I think I'm probably gonna be putting this little garden decor piece out on my front porch. Now 
Now for our next DIY, this one could not have been simpler. Took one of the wire wreath rims, took one of these beautiful hats from Dollar Tree. I always love when they get these in this time of year. I think they're perfect for spring. They remind me so much of being out in the garden. I actually have a big floppy hat that I wear when I'm out working in my flowers like this and I just love it. And uh, I think there's so many different things that you can do with these hats. But I'm gonna keep this one really simple today. Now I'm just gonna take this little rope tie bow and just glue that down. And then I'm gonna be taking my greenery clusters and I like to wrap those with just some masking tape. And I really do that in case I wanna take those apart. It seems like it's a lot easier. That way the glue will just kind of get stuck to those. I actually do end up using a zip tie on these too because I was afraid with it being out on my porch that it might not stay because we're really windy here in the mountains. And then I do take some little straggly pieces and just kind of gently glue those on. I don't put much glue when I'm doing this because I said a lot of times I like to take this type of greenery off and maybe use it in another seasonal decor. But everyone, are these florals from Dollar Tree not beautiful? These are probably some of my favorite ones. And I don't do a whole lot with a lot of bright colors, but summer really makes me want to do that in spring. So I'm just going to kind of pop these in here. I really wanted it to be off to the side with the florals because I really love this hat so much. But everyone, you could go crazy with this hat. There is so many designs. I thought about getting another one and doing it with some garden tools on here and maybe just adding some of the little garden gnomes. You could even add the little frogs. You have so many different ideas that you could do with these hats. So I hope you can find those at Dollar Tree. Okay, everyone, you're gonna watch me do something really creative with these gloves. I love these colors that was in this glove. And a lot of times when I spot things, it's strictly because of the colors I'm drawn to. And I think that they would work good turning them into something. But you can see what I did. I cut the wrist part off, gonna cut the little fingertips off. And then I'm just gonna see how many strips of what we'll call fabric, even though this is a rubbery kind of texture. And I'm just gonna cut as many little strips as I can. and. If you already guessed what I'm gonna be making out of this, leave that in the comments below and let me know that you guessed it before I created it. But what I'm gonna do is take my little pinking shears and just go along the edges and just add a little something on these strips. And if you haven't guessed by now, we're gonna fold these over and we're gonna be making a bow. We're just going to take little loops you would see on a bow and I'm just going to keep folding these over and trying to form as many little loops for the bow as I can get but everyone I have so many ideas you can make a bow out of anything basically and if you would like to see a video where I have created things that you would not believe into a bow let me know in the comments and i'll make a video like that because there are so many different ideas and really fun and unique ways to create different types of bows and you saw what i did there i just started layering all those on top of each other and i love this i took the little tips of the glove and glued them in a cluster and this one kind of come out like a little flower and i just left the little pieces on the back folded them over because i didn't need to tie it on and just straightened it out and twisted it up the way that i like to see it and everyone what a fun and simple bow made out of a pair of garden gloves but everyone, if you enjoyed this one and you're going to give it a try, don't forget to leave that in the comments below. Now for our next DIY, we're going to be creating a little piece to set out on maybe a little table out on your porch and I love how these just have a little bit of that garden feel now these are those boxes from Dollar Tree I guess they're more like little wood trays and I took off the hardware and I'm gonna be using that plaster and alfalfa paint to start out with 
And everyone, I love this plaster color. I just went and bought me a brand new bottle of that because to me, that one is so springy. And I just love the way everything else uh, plays off of it when you add different colors to it. But I decided to give these a nice thick coat of this but I'm not gonna leave them the white color. They would be really pretty if you left them this color, but I really wanted to kind of age these up and make them look like they may have been out in the garden or just outside kind of getting weathered. And I really love how this turned out. I was going one direction with this and then I kind of ended up adding something at the end that made me love it even more. Now you could see I took all that green and just rubbed it on there. I, once again, I'm just building up colors. And then I took that black wax from the DIY paint and was really rubbing it in there to make this have just an aged look. Now I had this little napkin in my craft stash and I did peel off that bottom layer. And I'm just gonna like decoupage this on here. And I thought the Live Simple would still show up, but it didn't, but I had a really happy accident with this one because the little uh, piece that I put on at the end of this one, it just turned out so pretty. And it was something that I had printed out for a previous video and did not use. But once I get this on here, I'm just gonna give it a nice coat of the Mod Podge to seal everything in. And then we're going to get it glued together and yeah, see, you can still see that. Now I'm gonna drill a hole in the top here and I'm gonna use one of these little lanterns. I think these have to be one of my favorite ones that uh, Dollar Tree is carrying right now. I'm thinking about getting a few of these to actually put out in my garden area. And I did take a little bit of that Type Bond um, super glue to hold that and make sure you glue that really well. I had to go back and glue that in a little bit better once I got this one done. And now I'm gonna take some wood glue and I'm just gonna rub that all along here. I meant to put a little bit of hot glue, so I had to wait a few minutes to let this set up before I could finish. So you might wanna leave that little bit of space like we do to add just a dab of hot glue maybe in each corner. But I made sure I put plenty of the wood glue on there so this would, uh, seal up and stay really well. And you can see all of a sudden that Live Simple just disappeared right into that Mod Podge, but that's okay because what I'm putting on at uh, the end here in a moment was so pretty. Just gonna wipe off all of the extra there. And then we're gonna go ahead and see if our little lantern works and I got it set up. Now we're gonna do that same technique we're gonna take little bits of green I'm gonna take some peach and then this little brown color and I'm just blending all these colors on here because I'm doing this as a whole little pot and I just kind of wanted it to be just a little bit brighter than the ones that I just did on the little birdhouse but everyone don't these colors look pretty I think they look so much like the little terracotta pots and I just love that look. I think it has that really garden feel to it. And that's why these were kind of garden inspired DIYs because there was a lot of things that I'm looking around outside that I wanna do and it just made me think of these DIYs. Now those are some of those little uh, foam eggs and I just cut the tip off, pop that in there. And I always like to save those. They make the perfect little piece of foam for you to do uh, little designs like this to pop your florals in. And of course I added a little bit of moss and then I'm just gonna take this greenery that kind of remind me of rosemary, but I just like the color of it, so I popped that in there. And then I had another little bouquet of flowers that I had picked up there at Dollar Tree. I could only find one of these, but those are uh, some really pretty dainty little flowers. Now here's this image, and this is actually printed on just typing paper. I know I had done that in a previous video where I uh, printed it on the tissue paper, but I really like this and I knew that it would fit right in the center. And I think this really just finished this design off. And I think it just made this one complete and it just turned out so pretty. And I think it's gonna look nice just sitting outside on my porch, just on our little table. But everyone, I hope that you are enjoying these DIYs today. 
I know that I am so excited and ready to get out in my flower garden and start working. I did a little bit of my flower garden uh, before the weather turned back cold here again in the mountains. It's been very cold today, but uh, I'm so excited to get out there and see all of those flowers blooming. You'll have to let me know where you're from and if your flowers are blooming. I am actually still working with my seeds and I've got some more seeds that I have to start tomorrow and I really love that. Um, I'd like to film that for you too and show you some of the things that I do. But everyone, look how beautiful this little lantern turned out. I think this is the perfect little garden piece of decor, and I think this is gonna look beautiful setting on my porch. Let me know if you enjoyed this one in the comments below. Well, everyone, for our last DIY, I did something a little different. I wanted to take that beautiful little uh, outdoor thermometer that I you see over there on the right and I took some of the little boards from Dollar Tree these are the little cutting boards and I'm gonna really um, glue that right down the center because I want to build up layers on this and make it kind of look like it's just a bunch of old boards and so I just put the wood glue in the center some hot glue on the edges and that sealed this up really well. But when I got this one done, everyone, it looked like an old piece of wood that you might have picked up from behind the barn or something. So I was really happy with how this turned out. And I was wanting to do something kind of different with that pretty little outdoor thermometer. And I just thought that that would be something neat to make a nice little background for it. So I take some of the bigger craft sticks you can see, and I'm just securing that on the back side. And I pick up my craft sticks actually at Walmart, the bigger ones, and I had those in my craft stash. Now I'm just going to trim everything off because I want this to be kind of neat and squared off. And once I get that done, we're gonna start adding some of those aged colors to this that really makes this start looking like an old board. And when I get our beautiful little outdoor thermometer on there, it's just, it just turns out so pretty. Now I'm gonna sand everything down and just get those rough edges before I start adding our, um, I think I start out with using the DIY old and gray patina. And that really does a great job of starting to make these look weathered and aged. And then of course I'll touch up later with some of that um, DIY black wax. But everyone, you can see how well the craft sticks take this old and gray patina. That's probably one of my favorite purchases because I do like that gray color and I think that made this look really pretty. But what I did with the birdhouses made me come up with this idea. I wanted to take and elevate these little wood pieces up before I actually put our next piece on top and I really like the way that turned out and I just think I'm gonna hang it out on my porch maybe on uh, one of the little beams and that way I'll have like an outdoor thermometer and you can see I'm just taking a little E6000 and a little hot glue and that seems to hold really well even if you put these items outside and I decide that I want to go with the birdhouse theme. So I'm gonna glue these on down at the bottom here. And I thought it would be neat to have just an, an old kind of rustic little birdhouse with the design that's on the thermometer. And boy, that really turned out pretty. Now I'm gonna take that black wax and just rub that all on here and really kind of age up these boards. And I do have to take a little paintbrush and go right down in those little cracks to get the other pieces. But everyone, while I'm working on this, I hope you enjoyed these DIYs today. And if you had a favorite that I created, don't forget to leave that in the comments below. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I know a lot of you that watch my channel aren't subscribed. I would love to have you as a subscriber. And if you hit that bell and select all, uh, hopefully you'll start being notified when I upload my new videos. So. 
If you haven't done that, I hope you will because I would hate for you to miss any of these because there's so many spring DIYs coming up. And everyone, thank you if you've been subscribed to my channel for a long time. I appreciate your support more than you know. And I'm just so excited to grow my channel this year and just enjoy ourselves on this creative journey. And I think creating is just such a happy thing for our soul. And I just think it brings joy to us in our everyday world. Well, everyone, now... I'm going to see if this little outdoor thermometer fits on here. I think I've said thermometer a hundred times already. But everyone, I come up with this idea and I was so thrilled that now this has given me ideas to do this again. These are those little magnets and I decided to pop them on the back of this because it's metal. And then I'm just going to use the E6000 and some hot glue, flip that over, glue it right on there. And once this dries really well, I'll show you in a minute, you can just pick this up, pull it off if something happens and it breaks or you want to change it out. But everyone, here it is hanging up and it turned out beautiful and I hope that you enjoyed it. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's DIYs and if so, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and I hope you have a wonderful and blessed week and I will see you soon.